Gonna get some videos done. All right. Hey, I'm not framed. Hold on. Yeah, okay. What's that? Enhance. 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 Huh. Get off. How's it going everybody? I'm Josh KI6NAZ. I'm almost about two years after hitting the 100,000 mark. In fact, I, I just hit 230,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you. I really do appreciate it. But during the FT8 off that was held by Temporarily Offline and Ham Radio Dude, Ham Radio Dude mentioned no one has Will It antenna a play button. Since the Will It antenna thing is kind of my jam, I thought, well, I've got a play button. Let's see if it works. Now, a couple of things that's working out for us here is that this thing is like aluminum and the edges are aluminum. They look like they're kind of like tacked together. In fact, the hanging bit that's on the back here, you can see there's actually metal on the inside. So let's do a capacitance check and just make sure that we've got, sorry, continuity check and make sure that the sides are connected to the front here. And that will help us out inevitably. I, I don't expect I'll get much more than two meters out of this, but you gotta try, right? Hey, can you see me? Hey, how's it going? So the first thing is, you know, is the top even, you know, conductive? And yeah, it is. So this is aluminum. So if I touch the side here, oh, it's isolated. How about the side over here? Also isolated. Not very good aluminum too. You can see I just scratched my play button and it's fallen and dinged and, and got messed up. It actually took a, I think this came from the shipping. It was in a box. Um, so, you know, it's, <laughs> I've, I've abused my play button a little bit here. So let's, let's do the easy stuff first and then we'll try and make it more complicated if we need to. I'm actually a little low on stranded wire. I'd normally use something a little bit beefier for this, but we'll use some D10. This is some uh, leftover DX Commander D10, which is some great stuff. And what you do when you're making antennas, you know, random field expedient antennas, get stuff that's stranded. Stranded wires is what you want and fan it out nice. And then you're just gonna tape it to, you know, whatever it is you're trying to make an antenna. And then you'll snip a bit of lead off here and connect a BNC breakout. Now I don't wanna trick, I don't wanna make this a, a trick where I just take the appropriate length of a two meter antenna plus, you know, whatever this is and and, and then attach the BNC post here. No, 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 we don't do that. We're going to snip this guy, make it a short little nubbin, connect to the pin, and then we'll have maybe a radial or a coil or something that'll add to the end here. So let's try that. Now I have a silver play button hanging from my garage with an isolated hamcation neck lanyard connected to the BNC breakout post connected to a BNC connector. In fact, I don't think I want to use BNC for the end. I need SO239. Uh, let's do that. Okay, after an ungodly amount of connectors, I'm now in a position where we can test this. Five to one SWR. Not great, not great. Let's see if we can do something else with this. <laughs> it does have, where's that null? Where's that low point? Okay, so its lowest point is uh, it, it, where it's at right now, which is you know, three to one SWR, is about 158 megahertz, 158 megahertz. So I wonder if I play around with this a little bit. Let me see what that does. I, I made this little tiger tail about 17 inches or so give or take on this. So why don't I try trimming it and see what it does? Okay, I'm keeping an eye on my SWR meter right there. Right now it's showing about three to one SWR. So I'm just gonna take and snip off about an inch. Oh, that made it worse. Now it's four, whoop, passive coupling of my body. Now it's 4.5 to one, so we're we're not going in the better direction. 
So that's my bad. Uh, I'm going to need to lengthen my little tiger tail here. Although I got to admit, um, that's interesting. Now it's showing two to one SWR with nothing attached. Let me plot that, see what it looks like. That could be better than most handheld antennas at this point. Now I will note, uh, actually the best part about this, just the way it is right now, is that we're getting uh, 1.8 SWR on 70 centimeters. Not bad. Hot tip, literally, if you take a big lighter again and just heat the enamel up and then take a piece of pure steel wool or whatever uh, and give it a couple of runs, you'll get a nice little completely bare uh, wire here. So let's plug this into the radial jack. And it's a long boy, so I'm just gonna let her run. Let's see. Did not make the SWR happy at all. That is way worse than it was. So I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna give him a bit of a coil. This is not actually going the way I, I like this to go with this wire. All right, so what am I doing down here? Well, I'm, I'm playing around with ant scope and I'm doinking around with this uh, radial. And I, I did, I found a sweet spot. It's at, uh, well, after some, some playing, I got this thing at 440 megahertz at a Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. All right, we got our first D-Star check-in, I believe. KS6NAZ, was that correct? Uh, QSL, QSL, you got it. And yeah, for the, the topic there, uh, for me, I'm gonna focus more on Morse code. I've, I've got a lot of gear now and I need to up my actual operating skill and get back into Morse code more seriously. That is a good one. Yep, I need to do the same. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a good skill to have, uh, especially if you're going to be doing, you know, some of the, the soda stuff. I know, uh, and of course, just in general operating, it's just another fun thing about our hobby. I appreciate it. Uh, and you're sounding good across the D-Star transcoder this evening. All right, any other check-ins? Any mode? Anywhere? I sound good. <laughs> well, that's just hilarious. <laughs> All right, so I'm on that same repeater. Thank you, Santiago Papa System, by the way, for being available. Santiago is such an easy repeater for me to hit. You're now on the HRCC link, uh, listening to the folks that are talking right now. Which, by the way, hrcc.link is where you can go for more information on that. I just want to say hi really quick, and then I'm going to unlink the repeater. I am on D-Star. Is that a QSL? Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Am I making it into the repeater? I'm hearing you for sure. Uh, what are you hearing me? GM6, MGK. Uh, yes, that's affirmative. Yep, hear you uh, loud and clear over the HRCC link. I'm just doing an uh, antenna test and I uh, wanted to see if I was uh, making it one to the repeater. That's the big thing. But then if I could link up with the HRCC link, which I did. So, uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, mission accomplished. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that uh, you get most of them accomplished. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of us learn a lot from you out there, so keep it up. Hey, thank you for that. This uh, particular antenna test is me using my uh, 100,000 uh, play plaque that I got from YouTube as an antenna. Seems to be uh, quite resonant on 70 centimeters. <laughs> Very funny. I mean, I imagine some of this is also part of it, you know, the metal, you know, you can't really avoid that. Radio's not getting warm. Uh, I just realized who we're you selling with. Yeah, hey, Josh, big fan here as well. K9CCO, keep up the good work, brother. Hey, I appreciate that. All right, I got to hop off to uh, now go start recording the podcast with my wife. I just wanted to get in here and do the check. So thank you for letting me uh, interrupt your cue, your cue so that was going on. So continue with it, boys. boys. I'll talk to you later. 73, KI6NAZ. Nice. That works pretty good. You know what the next step is? Now I gotta hook the 705 and the AH705 to this and just tune the crap out of it and see what we can do. <laughs> I've got a bit of a curiosity. What if we bonded the sides here to the front? But what if I take some copper wires here, let's get them all together, put them right over the top like that. And the same thing on the other side here, on the front facing side. This is D10, man. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. <laughs> Come on, there we go. And we just gotta get onto this side. All right, let's test this again. Now I really can't argue with what's driven me to this point, but uh, I'm gaffer taping my AH705 to a tripod 
so I can connect it to the, the play button antenna because I can't find the tripod mount for the AH705 anymore. So that's a thing that's happening right now. And now if we connect that, I've got about five feet of uh, radial right here that I'm just gonna let hang. Coax to the 705. <laughs> All right, this thing looks big mad. Let me go to function, tuner. It just tuned up 14 megahertz. Or sorry, set, seven, what? Oh, we got some noise here. Ooh, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm in the front yard. I've got my play button here. The 705 is in a planter, but there is an FT8 signal on 40 meters, which is about the only signal that I could pull up. It's a JA station. I wonder if I call CQ, what's gonna happen? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I have a JG6VBG 20 over. And we are transmitting CQ right now. They haven't hauled CQ, otherwise I'd try. I don't want to block my light. But yeah, we're we're, <laughs> we're going for it, I guess. Am, is it too close? Am I getting saturated with RF if I'm this close? I don't know. N6QQ, I think you saved me. Although I think you're right down the street also. You're 20 over. Uh, you got me at a plus three on the play button. <laughs> that is ridiculous, guys. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Why? Why? I mean, there's a thumbnail. Well, since I'm here, I might as well do 40, right? Oh, there's a lot of signals. I need to chair. This is a little fun, actually. I might have to stay out here a while. Not getting heard on 40 meters, but I think I know my problem. It's definitely my radial placement. So we'll just throw this over the apple tree. Like so, that'll definitely do it. Okay, I'm just not getting hurt on 40 meters. Uh, that's okay, that's to be expected. N6QQ, thanks for the contact on 20 meters. That's insane. But again, I'm assuming you're like right down the street from me, most likely. That's gonna do it for me. You know, have fun with antennas. Make things out of weird stuff you have around your home. I'm just using a couple pieces of wire and electrical tape and a, an analyzer really helps for this. An analyzer is super, super recommended. There is a link in the description to the Rig Expert Stick Pro, which I recently reviewed. I highly recommend you check that out. Great little field analyzer that you can always keep on you. Anyway, I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching, consider subscribing. I'll talk to you later. See ya.